Leaders in Minnesota picked today the January 6th anniversary to announce new voting right initiatives. It will be spearheaded by a group of lawmakers calling themselves the Inclusive Democracy Caucus. John Croman shows us what they want to get done in 2023. Making it easier for more people to take part in the democratic process, whether through the mail or early voting in person, it's the basic goal of a group of state lawmakers who've dubbed themselves the Inclusive Democracy Caucus. Expanding access to vote through automatic voter registration, through pre-registration for 16 and 17 year olds, and by restoring the vote to those who have served their time. Democrats in the House and Senate have introduced the Democracy for the People Act, which among other things would restore voting rights to felons as soon as they're released from prison. They are members of our community and they deserve to fully participate in our society. The legislation would also bring more transparency to campaign financing. That dark money nonprofits who are not disclosing at all or who are disclosing, you know, it's the, the Russian nesting dolls of uh, Minnesotans for hot dish giving to Minnesotans for loons, um, where you don't really know, voters don't really know. <laughs> It comes on the second anniversary of the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol, an event that was sparked in part by disinformation that eroded faith in democracy itself. We listened to Minnesotans tell us they were concerned that our democracy remains under attack. We have members in our Minnesota legislature who are election deniers and have publicly supported insurrectionists. It's true there are current lawmakers who appeared at the January 6th rally at the state capitol and declared that the 2020 election was rigged. So far, no Republicans have signed on to the Inclusive Democracy Caucus, but Democrats say they're hoping to win some Republican votes for these bills, and they're welcome to hearing ideas from the other side of the aisle. From the Capitol, John Croman, Care 11 News. Republican Minority Leader Mark Johnson responded late today by saying that Democrats should stick to the Minnesota tradition of getting bipartisan support for any changes in election laws.